What's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to apologize. I know I haven't been making any videos at all or haven't put anything out in, uh, in about a month. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> I think it's time just to kind of get back to it. Uh, just been really busy with life and everything and all that stuff and you know, just life. But uh, but yeah, um, just want to let you guys know what we, what we got coming up, what I got in the works right now. I have decided to go with k drop-in filter and PRL intake hose. Um, I'm going to start off with that right now. <clears throat> see how that works out and, uh, you know, do a couple unboxings and uh, installations on there uh, for the, for that stuff. Uh, I already ordered the K&N filter. That's uh, already on its way. PRL hose, I'm going to order it today. That, you know, they got some pretty good uh, shipping time, so... You know, it should be here in a few days or so, whatever. Probably by next week, because today's already Wednesday. But, um, <clears throat> something to look forward to. Um, uh, as you guys already know, with the, uh, I decided not to go with the short ram or cold air intake right now, because, like I said, with the very little circulation going on in the engine compartment, and you get the turbo right underneath the intake, the intake, uh, um, the whole intake system. And right where the stock intake hose is um, connected to the plastic intake tube, I guess. <clears throat> um, we have two coolant hoses right underneath that. So to me, it's not ideal to put a metal tube right above that where when you're doing data... Whoa, 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 saw police. Okay. <clears throat> All right, cool. So... I don't, I don't see it, you know, I don't, I don't see it being very ideal to put a metal tube right above, uh, right next to a turbo charger, hot cat, and two coolant lines, because it's just right, like, right underneath the intake hose. So, that regular OEM intake hose is, uh, pretty good in trying to keep the heat off, but the PRL hose, I think, would probably do a little bit uh, better job, because it's a little bit thicker material, and... You know, it should provide a little bit more smoother airflow with the K&N filter. It should be, uh, uh, hopefully we were able to pick up some gains. Don't know how much, but hopefully some low-end torque, more low-end torque and all that. Uh, so it should be better for the turbo. <clears throat> right now, I don't know if you guys uh, have seen my previous videos on the 8th, uh, when I had my 8th. Uh, I like to experiment with the intakes on, the, on these Hondas and Civic uh, SIs and all that. So uh, I'm going to start off with this now and see where it goes. You know, kind of getting into the winter months, colder months and everything. So I kind of want to play around with the daily driving, uh, city driving. And, you know, pulling over, checking out the engine compartment. See how hot it actually gets uh, with co cooler weather. Um, but with the fans on and everything, with the, with the cooler weather, it does, uh, does help maintain those temperatures really low. So... Let's see how it goes, but right now uh, I got the k uh, on its way and PRL hose is coming up next. I'm still waiting on a potential seller on the Flash Pro. That was ultimately my first uh, choice of mods, but since uh, he's got a couple things going on, you know, I told him, hey, let me know, send you PayPal, the deal is done. And where are we, where are we? Ah, oh, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way. <clears throat> And uh, he said he'll let me know, so hopefully that should be happening soon. And definitely want to try that, document that. So, yeah, right now, uh, before I get that k and filter installed, I want to record the turbo slash blow-off valve sound from the factory blow-off valve. I don't know if it's the actual blow-off valve or the turbo that... Uh, that I hear when when we when I drive hard and I let go of the gas, you know, we hear kind of like a blow off a blow off valve sound. It sounds really good. But um, I'm thinking about getting that uh, on video for you guys. So you guys can check out the stock setup or airflow or whatever and let you guys figure it out. Uh, but to me, it sounds like a blow off valve, but it could just well, very well be the turbo. The only thing is, I only hear it on the passenger side when I'm driving through a curb or or, or in front of a curb uh, or alongside a curb. And I step on it, you know, five, six, seven, eight psi. Then let go of it. You definitely hear that uh, that swish sound. But um, it sounds really, really good. 
I love the way it sounds. I just wish it was louder, but uh, let you guys test that. Let me know what you guys think and install the K&N filter uh, a little bit after that put on the PRL hose test it out hopefully by then we'll have an answer for the flash probe and I think that's it um yeah I think that's it I'll keep you guys posted thanks for tuning in later